10 minutes, right. Find the volume of the cylinder. Uh, the volume for the cylinder, um, that is pi r squared h. Give your answer to the nearest millimeter cube, okay. Pi times r, which is nine squared times h. So that is, one, three, seven, two. No, it's not, Stephen. One, two, seven, two millimeters squared. A metal ring could be made by removing the cylinder of diameter. Work out the volume of, of metal in this ring. Okay, so it's the outer, which we have, minus the inner. So that'd be one, two, seven, two minus pi r squared, which is 49, times the same height. If I use the full answer from the previous one, I can get a more accurate answer here of 503 millimeters squared. Yeah. Many gold rings are made of a mixture of pure gold and other metals. One particular ring weighs eight grams, contains three grams of pure gold work at the percentage of the weight of this ring that is pure gold okay well that's okay that's 3 over 8 times 100 over 1 which is 37.5 percent pink gold is made up of pure gold copper and silver in the ratio of 1541 work out the number of grams of pure gold in a pink gold ring that weighs 25 okay so 15, four and one. Um, so if you add them up, that's 20. So which one is it? This is the ratio of the weight of pure gold to copper to silver. And we're looking for pure gold, which is that one. So it's 15 over 20 times 25 grams. That's, that is, um, 18.75 grams. Rose is made up of 75 pure gold. 22. Express this as a ratio. Okay. So that is 75 to 22.25 to 2.75. In its simplest form. I'm going to multiply by 100. To get rid of the decimal but the question is can I simplify I think I can divide by 5 no I could divide by 25 so that would be 11 that would be 89 that would be 300 11 is prime but can I divide 89 by 11 I cannot, so we're done. The cost of insuring a piece of jewelry depends on its value. Work out the cost per year of insuring a ring at 1800. So the first 1000 is 1%, so it's 1% of 1000. And then for the next 9,000, it's 2% of the excess plus the cost of the original 1,000. So it's just 2% of the extra over 1,000. So that's of 800. So uh, that's 26. The cost of insuring a particular necklace is 142.80. Per year work out the value of this necklace okay what's two percent of nine thousand that's 180 so it's not quite it's not quite in the next bracket it's still in the first two so it's 10 plus 132.80 and that 132.80 is 2% so if I divide that by 2 and multiply by 100 
that's 6640 originally and this one was off of an original 1000 so I think it's 7640 is what I'm getting here a brooch value at 7000 17500 which puts it into the last band it's 435 work out or the rate for the last band okay so 17,500. Well, first we have our 1% on the first 1,000, which is 10. And then we have 2% on the next uh, 9,000. So that's 180. So that's 190, but it's 435. So 435 minus 190. That means the last bit is 245. This was on 1,000 and this was on 9,000. That's 10,000. So this was on 7,500. So what's 245 as a percentage of 7,500? So 245 divided by 7,500 times 100 over 1. Give your answer to one decimal place. That is 3.3%. Midnight, nearly. Speed run. Good night.